on today's ProPresenter show, picking out a computer to use with ProPresenter 6. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the Pro Presenter Show. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. I'm your host. So, this is a question that I actually get quite a lot. Someone will have a computer and say, Hey, can this run Pro Presenter? Or they'll say, Someone gave us this computer. Can it run Pro Presenter? Or, Hey, we're getting ready to buy a computer. Uh, can you tell me which ones will run Pro Presenter? And so, I thought that I would show you an episode, uh, a lesson from my upcoming ProPresenter hardware course, uh, and uh, that way you would know kind of the process that you should go through so that you don't make the mistake of buying the computer only to discover it doesn't run ProPresenter and that was its purpose. So uh, let's go to the video from that course. When you're deciding what computer you need to buy for ProPresenter, this is the very first place that you should look. RenewedVision.com slash ProPresenter.php question mark page equals requirements. I'll leave a link in the notes section for that. But this is where you want to go. Now, the reason is, even before you decide whether it's Mac or Windows, Look at the system requirements. If you have in mind a machine that does not meet these system requirements, the bare minimum, then don't even think about it. And I would advise you not to look at the minimum, but to look at something with the future in mind. So today, I'm recording this in January of 2017, um, it recommends a minimum of a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core du Duo Core 2 Duo processor or better uh, for a Mac. I would not buy one like that. If I had one already, I might use it until I could afford something better. In fact, that's what I'm recording on is a 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo um, MacBook Pro a mid-2010, so it works, but I wouldn't want to buy it right now. Um, if you buy something that is on its way out, then you won't be able to do any upgrades or continue on past where things are. So that's why I want to have you look at this. Occasionally I'll have people that ask me, Paul, someone just donated a 2 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, Duo Mac to our church. Can we use it? Maybe, but really this is the minimum. So I guess that's what I want to say is if you're fudging any of the minimums, you really want to look at it. If you already have it, feel free to try, but... I wouldn't want to depend on that as my main thing on a weekend service. It's just not what you want to look at. The next question you need to ask yourself is, do I want Mac or Windows? A couple of things that you need to keep in mind is that the Mac version has been going since ProPresenter 1. <clears throat> the Windows version they released with ProPresenter 5 and a new version with ProPresenter 6. Renewed Vision seems very committed to keeping up the Windows version, but keep in mind that this is going to be a little more sticky because people might have several of these, but because there are there's so much variation in the PC market, if you have um, Windows 7 and everything else, it may or may not work. If you have... Uh, an i5 uh, or equivalent AMD processor, and that's good, but you've only got 4 gigs of RAM, it may or may not work. 
If you have a graphics card that supports uh, OpenGL 3.2 and higher, but it's not one of the ones listed, it may or may not work. So, in general, what I want to you to recommend, I want to recommend to you, is that you go with something that's at least what you see here, and don't don't stray too far from the recommendations that Renewed Vision makes, especially on the PC side, because um, the variations that might work perfectly good for other software. Renewed Vision is a small company. They're not Microsoft. They're not making this to work on every single possible computer made today. They're making it to run on a subset. So make sure that you have that, especially if you're on Windows. Another question to consider is, what will I be doing with ProPresenter? This is something that a lot of churches forget to check, is they get big ideas that they're going to use all these modules, or several of them, and while most of them, or a good number of them, are supported on both platforms, you'll notice the multi-screen module is, the SDI, NDI module is, the Alpha Keyer module is, so you might uh, start to get a false sense of security. Master control module, oh, that's supported, that's cool. Uh, edge blending, yay. Communication module is not. So if you're trying to control lights, it just won't work. If you're trying to get a switcher to control ProPresenter, it just may not work. So that's something to consider. The MIDI module is a subset of the communications module, so it may not work. So those are really the two big ones, and I went back and forth with a church that was saying, you know, Renewed Vision says it's not supported, but we're all PC, so we're going to make it work. Uh, no, you're not. Um, they don't have access, they're not going to give you access to your code base, you're not going to reprogram it, even if you did, that's going to be a bit of a problem and that reminds me of something else, is you'll notice that there are two major platforms listed here Their Linux is not listed OS X has Linux in the background, actually FreeBSD which is m more a flavor of Unix, but that is neither here nor there. I'm, I'm just saying that Linux is not supported, so if you want to run ProPresenter on Linux, that's going to be problematic. I'm not saying there aren't people trying to do it. There are, but I just wouldn't recommend it. So here are the things that you need to consider. First, is the machine I'm looking for supported? If it isn't, then maybe you need to look at a different machine. Do I want to use the communications module or the MIDI module? If so, Mac is your choice with ProPresenter 6. Maybe ProPresenter 7, it will support that module as well, but it doesn't today. Um, with ProPresenter 6, so keep that in mind. So you really have a couple of things to consider. One other thing that I would advise you to consider is the experience of all the churches that I've talked to that run ProPresenter, and you might guess because I'm Mr. ProPresenter that I talk to a lot of churches about it, and I do. I've heard one, one church that swears ProPresenter works better on their PC. Every other one, if they have used it on both, they say to the church, with the exception of this one, and I don't know if he had a bad configuration on his Mac, or it's just the perfect configuration on the Windows box, I don't know, but with the exception of this one, every other single church says, oh, it's so much better. It runs fine on Windows. There's nothing wrong with it, as long as you stick to the hardware that's uh, 
required and the software it runs fine on, on Windows but it was created on the Mac and a lot of churches that have done both nearly every one with the exception of this one that I'm telling you about nearly everyone says the Mac is the way to go so those are your choices and now in a new lesson we'll talk about choosing the right Mac and choosing the right PC. Well, I hope that was helpful. Uh, that's the one of the early lessons in that course, and that will be releasing here very soon. As I'm recording this, um, it is right at the tail end of January 2017. So if um, it's after, say, mid-February 2017, I would expect that that course will be available. I'll go ahead and uh, give you a link. You can access it by going to tdm.fyi slash pro6hardware. That's tdm, short for Trinity Digital Media, dot fyi, for your information, slash pro6hardware. Tdm dot fyi slash pro six hardware and there you'll be able to see just all the lessons that I've compiled not only about picking out a computer but picking out uh, other hardware that you might need to make pro presenter everything you need it to be in your specific situation if you like this content uh, I bet you'd like my email newsletter so go on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash newsletter and subscribe right there, and I will give you uh, some free ProPresenter training for your enjoyment, along with some discounts to some of my products. Wink, wink. No, uh, seriously, I'll, I'll give you some discounts to some of my products. That's where all the best deals are, is on my newsletter. I let uh, the people on the newsletter know about those absolutely first and primarily. So, go ahead and do that. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Go out and change eternity.